Thanks for watching. What did you guys think of the new intro? I just made it like the other day and I really like it. Um, yeah. So today it's like 96 degrees here in Phoenix and I wanted to do a look that was kind of beachy, fun, bronze, summery. Um, so this is it. And if you want to know how I did this, keep watching. Okay. So I went ahead and did my daily exfoliation using the Philosophy Micro Delivery Exfoliating um, Wash. It's basically just cleanser with exfoliant in it and I put on my philosophy hope in a jar moisturizer so the next step is um you guys have heard me talk about sunscreen before and I believe the importance of it so I'm going to put one pump of my um Neutrogena oil free SPF 15 and um this is just a start so just a little bit of that one pump in the hand and get that all in um, today it's going to be about 96 degrees out, which is pretty typical for Phoenix. Um, and if you live anywhere in the Southwest, you kind of know this type of weather. Um, so to layer on top of that, because it's going to be 96 and the sun's really strong and there's no clouds in the sky, I'm actually going to be layering on an SPF 30 as well. I'll be putting that all over me because, um, while I look naked, I'm actually wearing a tube top, which is one of the things I love about 96 degrees that you can wear a tube top. Um, so I'm just going to put... I know this isn't necessarily for face, but I don't have any for face right now. Um, but I just, I really love sunscreen and I really want to layer it on. So while that's being absorbed into my skin, I'm actually going to um, grab my primer. And I've talked about this before, the Tarina Tarantino um, Pearl Glow Primer in Nude, I think. They've got a couple. And I'm just going to do a pump and a half in the hand, like that. This stuff is fantastic. You guys have heard me talk about it before. Um, but it gives you your skin just a great luminescence. Um, kind of that gorgeous dewy finish. I'm pretty sure that it would work really well on oily skin too. I think it's just such a great base for your makeup. Oh, they smell like sunscreen in here. <laughs> um, let's see. So this look is called Bronze Goddess, for lack of a better term. Um, but what I wanted to do was, because I don't like to tan, but I like to look bronze, I use a lot of products that give me that bronzy, tanny glow. Um, and I want to show you guys how I get that look. So now that my primer's on, I'm actually going to use a tinted moisturizer, again, SPF 20. Which, and now that I'm thinking that I'll need to use this, it's kind of overkill, but here we are. Um, so I'm just going to take a pump of the, this is the Sephora Collection, um, tinted moisturizer. And you can still get this from the line. I know they discontinued a lot of stuff, and you guys have heard me complain about it. Um, but this is actually still available and I can't find the cover for it. There we go. Oh, and my shade, I'm sorry, is medium 28 camel. It's very exciting. So a couple pumps in the hand and just dot all over. And, um, this is just kind of a, it's got a light to medium coverage. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, but it does the trick. It gives me just a teensy bit of coverage, but again with the SPF, which is fantastic. And I'm going to get comments of, like, you're SPF crazy. And, well, I think that's probably very accurate. But, you know, better safe than sorry, especially here in the Valley where skin cancer is just, like, all over the place. Um, you know. I love this stuff. It doesn't have too bad of a smell. It goes on pretty easily. Um, and is really kind of nice. So if you actually have, like, oily skin, this could probably even serve as your moisturizer if you want. I'm just going to wash my hands real fast. Get some of that product off. Step out of the frame. Sorry, you guys. Okay, so now I'm going to put on my um, setting powder. Now it's a little early, but because it's a moisturizer, it gives my skin like a really, well, moist feel to it. And I don't really care for that. So I like to put setting powder on just to kind of absorb all the extra shine, for lack of a better term, because I'm going to be adding that in later with my highlighter. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the Makeup Forever HD powder with a big fluffy brush and just run that over real quick and it just kind of takes away that like that wet feeling which I'm not a big fan of so just kind of a little bit all over the face really really easy so now I've kind of got like a nice you know matte matter finish but still got luminescence and that comes from the primer so it's a good base to keep moving. And I'm going to put my concealer on. I need a little bit of concealer. And I probably should have done this before I did the powder. I'm um, using the Sephora Buildable Cover. A dupe for this, since it's now discontinued, is the um, Benefit Boing. So I'm going to go under the eye a little bit. And the other eye. So we match. 
So while I'm doing this, I'm thinking, do you guys like the heat? Like, are you guys summer people like I am? I love living in Phoenix. Like, it's 120 degrees in the summer, and I kind of love it. Um, so I'm wondering, do you guys like the heat, or are you guys more like winter people? Leave me a comment, let me know. And does your makeup routine change, like, based on the weather like mine does? I use a lot more moisture, or SPF in the summer than I do in the winter. Okay, so concealer's done. I've got a nice little base here going and I'm going to start on my eyes. Now I'm using a primer and this is the Benefit FYI, which I'm not sure if this still available. It's actually kind of really old. Um, and it's not as easy to apply as like Urban Decay Primer Potion, for example, or Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Kind of have to dig in there, get a little bit on the finger and then just go over the lid. So it give you a nice, like clean, fresh base to start from. And I'm going to be using a couple MAC eyeshadows. The first one that I'm using as my base, and this is a really simple look, honestly. It's a really easy look to recreate. I'm not, you know, advanced makeup type person. I just do really basic looks. Um, so this is a MAC kind of golden bronzy shadow. It's called Cosmic, and it, the finish is um, Velvet... Sorry, is that Velvet Pearl? Velux, Velux Pearl, whatever. I found this in Canada a couple of years ago, and I think because of the white case, it's actually um, was special or limited edition, but I think you can still find it, or at least you know something really close to it. So I'm just gonna get my Smashbox 15, which is kind of just a, you know, your old school, plain old eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to pat this all over the lid. And then I'm gonna just do a little sweeping. Good. So we get like a good shot of color, it's kind of got like an orangey tint to it, which is really good for brown eyes, apparently. I don't know. So says, you know, fashion magazines or whatever. Um, so yeah, get a good little base going. And then I'm going to go in with my Tarte. It's kind of like a pencil brush. It's not as like short and stocky as I'd like, but it's got like a good sharp tip on it. Sharp, stiff tip on it. And I'm going to go into Max Embark which is a matte dark brown. And I'm gonna do kind of like outer V type stuff. So I'm just gonna get it on the tip and then I'm just gonna go in here. I hope you guys can see, sorry. And then I'm um, gonna go up into the crease. So just do like a little, see what we're getting here? This kind of like disaster here, but we're gonna move it up and then we're gonna blend it out so it's not gonna look so funny. So here we are. I hope you guys can see, I'm sorry. And we're gonna go in just a little bit more. And so we kind of have the definition that glow, that bronze gold with the brown, just to kind of give it a little more dimension, give it a little more depth to it. Then I'm just gonna take my Studio Tools blending brush. And I'm just gonna blend it all out, soften it up. And there we go. So again, just real simple, you know, in the socket type stuff. And then the last thing, which is kind of the, um, the main part of the look is the Gil Be Bene Bleh, sorry, Benefit Gilded Pencil. Uh, and this is essentially just, it's really gorgeous. Here, I'm gonna swatch it out of my hand. Can you see that? It's got this gorgeous gold shimmer. I love it. I love it. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna line my eyelashes, like kind of deep here, but I'm just gonna do a line. And so it kind of gives me, the, I don't know, there's just something really cool about it. But the cool thing with this is I'm actually gonna go under the lid. And then do right here to kind of bring it in. And this is one of those things that when you do this like pop of gold, a lot of people are like, oh my God, what are you wearing? You know, it's kind of something that is like very attractive and it kind of, I don't know, it's just really fun. I'm gonna add a little bit more because I really like that bronze look. And there's that. So I'm going to do my other eye and I will be back with mascara and my cheeks as I go. Okay, so I went ahead and did my other eye and I put my mascara on and I went and used the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Original in black. Just two coats, eyelash, curler, all that good stuff. And I'm going to show you the rest of my face. Um, I'm going to be using my um, Great Lash Clear Mascara just to kind of brush my brows up and keep them in place. It's definitely time to get them waxed, but um, until I get around to it, we just use this. Kind of just, you know, keeps them in place and darkens them up a little bit, which I actually like. Um, I like a strong brow, but I don't necessarily want to pencil them in because I think they're pretty dark on their own. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to um, grab another brush and I'm going to be using Benefits Hula to give me kind of that um, deep bronzer look. It's a matte bronzer. It's not necessarily the best one. I'm sure Laguna is a lot better from NARS, um, but it's what I've got. And it's just a really, it's pretty okay. It's a nice, you know, just regular old 
bronzer, plain old bronzer. So I'm just gonna grab a Smashbox, let's see here, um, 16, which is just a regular old blush brush. I'm gonna get some on the brush, tap off the excess, I don't want too much. And I'm just gonna suck in my teeth. And if you haven't done any contouring, it's kind of like the rule of three. Um, one, two, three, just make a three shape and then go on the other side of your face. So you're just basically hitting your hairline right in here in the hollows of your cheeks and then right underneath the neck. So just a little bit of color on your brush and just start and then work it down. And do this a couple times. And you're just hitting kind of, you're just creating those shadows, but it kind of gives you that overall bronzy look. And then do the other side. One, two, three. One, two, three. So you see what we did here? Hairline. If you suck in your cheeks, you can kind of find it a little easier. And then down, isn't that funny? I bet that's gonna be the freeze frame picture. Oh, fun. Okay, and next I'm going to grab my Mark brush, which I've talked about before. I love this brush, the blush and bronze brush from Mark. You can actually order this like through Avon or something. And my Too Faced um, Pink Leopard bronzer. I use this all the time, I use it almost every day. A little bit on the brush, do your cheeks, apples in the cheeks, and a little bit back to the hairline. And we're really gonna get that gorgeous beachy glow. And then I might take my kabuki and just kind of flatten everything out if I can find it. Let's see. It's around here somewhere. If you need to go ahead and use a kabuki brush to kind of, oh, there it is, I'm sorry. We'll smooth everything out. This is a Smashbox 19. Got a little kabuki. I just blend things back in. I really need to prep for these videos more. I promise I'll get better as time goes on, you guys. Okay, so there's that. I'm actually going to reach for Gilded again, which I put away because there's one more part of the look that's kind of optional if you guys want to do it. You don't have to, um, but there's two kind of lip looks for this. I'm just going to wrap up, though, before I move on the lips, with High Beam as my highlighter right here. And you can actually use Moonbeam if your skin isn't as fair as mine or if you think that the silver undertone and High Beam is too much. Um, Moonbeam is actually the same but with an apricot kind of yellow undertone. If that works better for your skin tone, go ahead and use that. But as you guys know, I'm a high beam addict. So just blend it in above your cheeks here. And actually, I didn't use the highlighter shade. You can actually use this with your eyeshadow as a highlighter shade if you want to. It's a really good alternative. Okay, the last two looks, I'm gonna go really simple, or last two looks, last two parts of this looks is the lips. I can go one of two ways. I actually have Gilded here, and you can use that on your lips, and that's what I'm gonna do. Or I have a really great lip gloss from Avon of all places, and I think it's called Island Breeze. The label has been long gone. Um, but it's just a bronzy lip gloss with a golden undertone. It's fantastic, I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. It's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna show you with Gilded, and then I'm gonna show you with um, the lip gloss on top of it. So just take your Gilded pencil and just do your, just color in your lips. And sometimes I do this and just kind of stop here, maybe do a clear gloss over it, but it's just, it's really fun. Or something like, I don't know, Cleo, I feel like I'm a bronze statue now. <laughs> um, but it's really fun, it's just something different. So you can stop here, that could be your final look, maybe with a little lip gloss clear over it. Um, or this one is really great. Now dupe for this if you aren't an Avon person, if you don't have an Avon rep, is the Gemma Kid Diva lip gloss that you can get at Target for $16. I think this was actually $2.99 and it's still available on their website, avon.com. Um, but if you want to go try the one at Target, I've never been able to pick it up because every time I go it's sold out, but I play with the sample all the time and it's really great. Um, so we can go over that with this and just get a little more color, depth of color kind of give you a little more of an intenser lip. Um, it looks really good with Gilded. If you don't have Gilded, that's a really great alternative. Avon's fantastic, really easy to find. I'm sure there's one in your neighborhood. Um, so that's the finished look. I hope you guys liked it, and I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching, and if you guys have any questions, comments, requests, please leave them below or on Facebook, and I'm happy to do them for you. Have a great day. Bye.